Let's take a look at question number 18. It reads, point P is on a directed line segment from point X, negative 6, negative 2, to point Y, 6, 7, and divides the segment in the ratio 1 to 5. Question, what are the coordinates of point P? Okay, so we're going to get started by taking a look at the formula for um, a segment divided in a particular ratio, all right? So let's write down the formula first, and then we'll apply it to this particular scenario. Formula is as follows. If, let's say point P, um, x sub P, sub y sub P, let's say that's the coordinate, um, divides um, a line segment from A, let's say the first point A is x1, y1, um, a line segment from A, x1, y1, to point B, coordinates x2, y2. Let's say it divides this line segment in the ratio A to B. Okay, so if this is a scenario, then the coordinates of that um, point in the center is going to be, you're going to have x of p is going to be x1 plus a over a plus b. So um, x1 is basically the x coordinate of the first point, which is a, and a over a plus b is a ratio of the distance from x1 to x of p. So multiply that by the entire length to get the exact distance, x2 minus x1, basically the run, because you're going in the x direction. And then y sub p is going to be y1 plus the same ratio, a over a plus b, um, times the rise, y2 minus y1. Okay, so let's apply um, this formula to this problem. So we have um, the first point, x1, y1, we're going from x to y, okay? So we have x1, y1, let's call it the first point, uh, is going to be point x, which is um, negative 6, comma, negative 2. And then our second point, x2, y2, is going to be point y, which has coordinates 6, 7. And then the point in the, somewhere in the, between these two points that divides the segment, point P, x, P, y, P, that's what we're looking for, okay? Now the ratio A to B in this problem is 1 to 5. All right, so with this information, we can um, specify exactly what each component are, and then we will plug them into the formula when determining the coordinates of x sub p and y sub p. All right, so x1 is going to be negative 6. Uh, y1 is going to be negative 2, as you can see here. And then x2 from the second point y is going to be 6. And then y2 is 7. Using the ratio, we can clearly see that a is 1 and b is 5. Okay, so let's find the x-coordinate of the point. The x-coordinate is going to be, let's rewrite the formula, x1 plus a over a plus b, basically the fraction of the entire length. The entire length is your uh, run x2 minus x1. Okay, so this piece right here gives you the distance from the original point, and when we add it to the x coordinate of um, point, the first point, what is the first point? Point x, it gives us the x coordinate of point p. Okay, so let's substitute x of p is equal to x of 1, negative 6 plus a1 over a plus b, 1 plus 5, 
times x of 2, 6 minus x of 1, minus minus 6. Now we're going to use the order of operations to simplify this expression. So we have negative 6 plus 1 over 6 times minus times minus is plus, you slash and dash. 6 plus 6 gives you 12. Now you can plug this in your calculator or work it out by hand. We're going to do this by hand. We have negative 6 plus 12 over 6, um, which is negative 6 plus 2. Negative 6 plus 2 is 4. So that's the x-coordinate of the point um, between the segment that divides the segment in the ratio 1 to 5. Now we need to find the y-coordinate. Let's write down the formula for that y1 plus a over a plus b times the rise y2 minus y1. Okay, so y sub p is going to be y1 which is negative 2 plus a1 a plus b1 plus 5 times the rise y2 um, is 7 minus y1 which is negative 2. Now let's go ahead and work this out. We're going to have negative 2 plus 1 sixth times minus times minus slash and dash as a plus 9. That gives us negative 2 plus 9 over 6. Now if you simplify this you have negative 2 plus 3 over 2. Uh, you find the LCD by expressing negative 2 as a fraction and then you times it by uh, 2 top and bottom. Remember, denominators of fractions must be identical in order for you to combine them. Okay, So this uh, combines to give you negative 1 over 2. So the coordinates of point P um, is going to be uh, x, this is supposed to be negative, negative 4 for the x and then the y is negative 1 half for the y. Let's write that again. So x is negative 4 and the y is negative 1 half. So the answer for question number 18 is option number 4. Okay, now that we've solved the problem, let's go over um, a visual way to uh, basically understand what's going on. All right, so I'm going to call this um, a visual approach. You can use this uh, approach to solve the problem. Let's say you forget what the formula is. Um, if you um, take consider the visual, visual approach we're about to use, then um, you can also uh, solve the problem um, without any complications, okay? So we have two points. We're gonna label the points. I'm not joining it to scale, okay? So um, the points are x and y. So let's just graph two points. So we have point x right here, and then we have point y, let's say somewhere over there, okay? So point x has coordinates um, negative 6 negative 2 for x and then point y has coordinates 6, 7. So this is the segment that we're talking about right here. This segment um, is divided in the ratio 1 to 5 um, and point P is somewhere uh, in between these two points. So if it's in the ratio 1 to 5 Imagine breaking this line into six parts, and then the first part will be where point P is located. Okay, and we don't know what the um, coordinates of point P are. So what we did in this problem is we s split up the problem. Okay, we looked at the X piece and the Y piece separately. All right, so let's take a look at the X direction first. So for the x in the x direction, we're looking at the horizontal movement. So this is the x um, direction. 
All right, so the x projection right here will be split in the same ratio, okay? So what we just have to do is calculate this length right here and add it to the x coordinate and that will tell us the x coordinate of point P. So how do we calculate um, this length right here? We want to calculate um, the length from here to here. Okay, so that length is basically one-fifth of the entire, I'm sorry, the length is in the ratio of one to five, these two um, segments right here. So this length is going to be one-sixth of the entire segment, okay? So since it is in the ratio of one to five, here this portion is going to be um, one-sixth of the entire length. The entire length is going to be negative six, I mean six minus negative six, which is 12. Okay, so that length right there is two. So if the length, this length is two, and you add it to the x coordinate here, that tells you the x coordinate of the point P, which is two, um, negative six plus two, which is negative four. Okay? So remember, it's in the ratio of one to five. So this is one sixth of the entire length. Okay, so this is two. And then if you look at this side, this side right here, what do you think is going to be? It's going to be five times the first segment, which is 10. Does that make sense? It should because two plus 10 is 12. All right, so what we're doing is basically I'm chopping up this side, this um, horizontal projection into portions according to the ratio. Okay, now um, the same applies to the y direction. So let's say we have, we, we um, take a look at the rise here. Okay, we're going to split it in the ratio 1 to 5. That will, and, it, and then um, when we split it in that same ratio, we can use that ratio um, to determine how long this portion is right here. Okay, so what we're going to do to calculate the length from here to here is we're going to calculate one sixth of the entire horizontal span, one sixth of um, seven minus minus two. If you count from negative two to seven, you're going to have nine units. Okay, one sixth of nine, and that gives you three over two. All right, so that's how long this portion is. So this portion is three over two, and this the remaining portion is 15 over two. And then when you add 15 over two and three over two, you end up with 18 over two, which is a total of um, nine. 18 over two is nine, okay? All right, so what we did, in um, the work we showed earlier is that we took the x, the y coordinate negative two, and we added three over two to it. Negative two is the same thing as negative four over two. If you add three over two to it, that gives you negative one half, okay? So this is just a visual um, rendition of the problem just to help you uh, gain a deeper understanding as to what um, the formula accomplishes um, via the computations that we just did.